like this shoulder is fucked from wearing all that stuff. <laughs> oh, it really is. It's been no compensation. <laughs> <laughs> We're in for a wild ride. Uh, I saw the episode last night. How, when you see the first trailer, do you both go, this is real. This is going to go wild everywhere. Oh, God, it was mad. I was on the Piccadilly line the other day and getting off at Piccadilly Circus and literally just got off and then the train went. I went, oh, 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 oh. And then that's when I sent you that picture. Yeah. Just it's like Matt, Emma and I just sent it to my mum. Did you? I never do that, but I was like, oh. I know, mm. and it's just mad seeing... seeing well, for me, when, when something's advertised on the tube, that's when it feels real. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I, it's it's weird, isn't it? Because we've, I guess, lived with the reality of, or the sort of possible, slightly intangible reality of this being a big show for like a couple of years. Mm. But simultaneously, mm. when we were making it, it kind of felt very protected. Like it, we were mid-pandemic, you couldn't have visitors, and a lot of it was shot um, at the studio. So... After a while, in a very lovely way, it becomes kind of local and very private. The and glory days. Oh. So we got to hold that uh, pressure at bay for a while. So in a way, it's sort of, it's been quite a sudden uh, resurgence of um, noise and uh, agitation about it finally airing. Mm. I go into a rabbit hole of looking at fan theories and fans going wild because the both of you are in it. How do you deal with that? Like, are you? Would you be like me? Oh my God, they said this, or do you leave it alone? Try and leave it alone as much as possible, just because it's this is all so overwhelming anyway that it just yeah I think better to ignorance is bliss, isn't it? Really, it really at is. the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, yeah, it's hard, isn't it? Because we're, I guess. <clears throat> which is something I haven't done before. We're sharing a character mm. with with a with a fan base, uh, and with two other actors as well. Well, and, with, yeah. and literally with two other actors, um, uh, and and a fan base who already have love for the for the characters that we are now taking on. Um, and yeah, and you so you're trying to do right by uh, a lot of different factions. Um, but yeah, ultimately, I think you have to just um, be at peace with the fact that you are sort of the prison that this person will be refracted via mm. um, and hope for they the will. best. They will. They'll love it. They'll love it. Mm. Rhea's is given, I, pie chart is the wrong word, but Rhea's is given like, you know, a big blackboard of this is here, this is here, this is there. So even you guys know what's going on or how does that all work? Because there's so many, you know, story arcs and all that. Is it difficult for yourselves to get into it? God. I, th I think when once you've like read the scripts and you've had your rehearsal time, all you can really retain is what your character is doing and how that relates to the other characters in your in your microcosm. Otherwise, I think it does. There's too many things going around in your head, and there's still so many things that I've forgotten. So I'm really excited to revisit mm -hmm. as well. They're like the mm -hmm. st stuff that Matt's done. That I'm like. <laughs> yeah, early on, I think it's like, you know, we've it's received all of the spread. screenplays and you you sort of uh, experience that story and all of its complexity a bit like an audience member. Um, but then at a certain point, I think you have to sort of simplify the job. And when you do go for, for us, like going back to the earlier episodes um, that are taken care of by um, Millie and Emily, allowing those to be about sort of uh, kind of embedding like memory and um, uh, sort of understanding early experience as opposed to trying to kind of hold 10 narrative threads mm. at once. I keep thinking of that mean meme of some fella with a blackboard. <laughs> He's got yeah. loads of X, Y, Z, yeah. two, three. Uh, my friend has watched the trailer about a million times. She is very, very excited. So I texted her earlier, I was like, have you got a question? Right. And she wanted to know, was all the stuff you were in uncomfortable to wear? What was that? And I was like, "Would you ask anything else?" He's like, "No, no. I just need to know. Was it uncomfortable?" Good question. Mm. Yeah, 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 massively. Yeah, yeah, really uncomfortable. Um, also, like, it hinges on just like a, a very narrow point on your shoulders, and so you've got all this weight of this dress and skirts and this really heavy fabric. That fabric that's really beautiful, but it just hinges here, and then you've also got a weft of you know ten people's hair 
and then you've got a headdress on with a very heavy veil and honest to god i've still got like this shoulder is fucked from wearing all that stuff <laughs> oh it really is it's been no compensation <laughs> <laughs> but i think it's a really good question because uh, you know, it's it's not by chance that women end up wearing restrictive, um, restrictive unpractical, uh, heavy clothing. Um, and it's sort of, I guess you could say it's another aspect of sort of patriarchal control. And it's interesting playing the characters and on your body, you know, 15 hours a day, um, you know, like doing that, living that, wearing that. In the um, mud, trying to like use the portal and like you've got all, like the whole, your skirt is just <laughs> caked, and it's just, yeah. oh, and it's wet as well from the. Just, oh, it's just not nice. And a follow up to that is, yeah. did you nick anything from the set? Can you say, did you mm. have anything that, that that's your baby forever? I wish I had next year. I'm going like, to nick loads just so I've got something to talk about, and just really obscure things as well. I have. Have you? Uh, I didn't, well, so I have, um, Matt has a dagger uh, and they gave him a like prototype dagger that's in plastic, not metal. He gave me his dagger when I first met him um, and I have that on my mantelpiece. Do you? Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. I know, isn't it? It's actually very like, oh, that's sweet. surprisingly yeah. sentimental for me. Um, Did he present it like that? Yeah. <laughs> It's been great chatting to you. Thank you, you so much. You too. Um, I've had to change the word Nick, but I used to say take, and I interviewed Angela Lansbury like ages ago. Yeah. I said, you take anything on set? She was like, drugs? And all of a sudden, oh, the public yeah, 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 yeah. would be like this, and I went, oh shit, I meant yeah, take. Yeah, did you take anything? Yeah, take. That's and great. she was just about to answer it. I was like, no, 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 no. Wow, amazing. And amazing, yeah. Thank you so much. I'll see you Thank later. you, one pleasure. Bye.